YouTube what is up welcome back to my channel if you're a new viewer and you're just joining me for the first time welcome to the tiger ambush make sure to pause this video right now go down below and hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and you can also check me out on my socials on Instagram and on TikTok at Remy Madison if TikTok's still around if it's not banned and without further ado let's get into today's video so if you can tell by the title today is going to be another shuffle tutorial so today i'm going to teach you guys how to do a single leg cow tail a double leg cow tail will be further in the future but for now we're just working on our basics getting all our moves down and it's going to get harder as we go so if you're about to stick around make sure you're keeping up with all the latest tutorials definitely check out the running man rocking and other tutorials i've done before doing this one this is a more of an intermediate to advanced move so if you're down to learn how to do a cow tail Let's get into the video. So I'm just going to demo what a cow tail looks on both legs. So this is what it looks like standing on the right leg without actually moving. So this is the movement of the leg. Now I'm going to show you the other leg. This is what it would look like on the left leg. Again, we're not really doing a move right now. I'm just showing you the basic part. And here it is put together in a move. Okay, so let's begin. So you're going to start with your feet shoulder width apart like everything we do. What you're going to do is you take your dominant leg, in this case the right leg. So basically it's kind of like doing the breaststroke swimming the way your legs are moving. What you're going to do is you're going to take your right heel, bring it behind your left leg across, then you're going to bring your heel directly behind your knee and then circle it around so it's facing the front. So I'll show you from the side now. So basically it is like swimming. So you're gonna bring your heel to the left side of your body behind your left knee to the back and then around. So it's a circular motion. So you're going all the way around making a bubble or a circle. That's why it's called the cow tail. So taking your right heel, you're bringing your heel first and then you're bringing it directly behind your leg bending your knee, and then when you finish, your toe is guiding. So now we're going to do the left leg, and I'm going to break it down even more. So you're going to start with your heel. Your heel is going to guide. So with your left heel, you're going to swing it up and behind your right leg. So you're going to swing it to the right side behind your right leg. You're going to bring your heel up so that it's behind your right knee. Your heel is still guiding at this point. So your heel is behind your right knee. Then you're going to lift it over, creating an arch with your leg, moving in a circular motion. So then your leg is directly in line with your knee, so your calves in line with your knee. Then you're going to push your toe out, so your toe is now going to be guiding, and you're going to go in a circular motion, bringing your leg back to the center to the starting position. Okay, let's try it a bit faster. So you're going to go up and behind, directly in line, and then swing it around. Okay, we'll look at it from the side. So you're going to lift your leg up and across. Then you're going to go directly behind your leg, keeping it in line, and then swing it around. Then you're going to guide with your toe, swing it around. Making a circular motion. If you're familiar with the breast stroke and swimming, this is exactly what your feet are doing. So you're going to go across and up, directly behind, swing it around, guiding with your toe, back to the center. Now we're going to try one after the other, so we're going to do the left, then we're going to do the right. So let's do left and right and left and right. So now we've got the move down, we're going to actually incorporate it into a move that we can put in a shuffle routine. So this is basically the Charleston. If you haven't watched my Charleston tutorial, pause this video right now and go do that one before attempting this one. This is easier to do. This move is much easier when you learn how to do the Charleston. So that was essentially the Charleston. So this move is basically the Charleston, but with the other leg while you're swinging around, you're doing a cow tail. So when you get ready to do your Charleston, as you bring one of your legs in front, as both your feet come together, they go in the opposite directions. So your toes will be facing the opposite ways and then your heels will be facing the opposite ways. But as you're bringing one of your legs in front or in back, instead of landing, what you're going to do is you're going to have the back leg go into a cow tail. So as you can see here, instead of landing my foot, I let it go all the way through and created a circular motion. So I'm going to start by twisting a leg, bringing the other leg around into Charleston. And then what I'm doing, instead of letting my foot land, I'm going to continue the fluid motion and create a cow tail. Okay, so now I'm going to break down how you can actually put the two together. 
So you're going to have the one leg that starts off by twisting. So when you're doing the cow tail, what's going to happen is as you're bringing your back leg up and across, your foot on the other side is going to be in line with that. So just like in the Charleston, your feet will always be the opposite way. So as your leg is coming back in behind, your foot is going to be pointing the opposite direction as the other foot. So as you bring the heel back, you're guiding with your heel for your right leg coming backwards. Your left leg's toe is going to be pointed out. So it's essentially going to be a ballet stance just like in the Charleston. See how your feet are in opposite directions. Then as it comes over, your feet are going to be both pointing inwards. So in the Charleston, your feet are always moving in opposite directions. So your toes are going to be pointing in different directions. And then your heels are going to be pointing in different directions as you swing your leg around. Now your heels are pointing in different directions. So that's what the Charleston is. So it's essentially the same thing. But instead of letting your foot fall flat, you're going to continue it into a fluid motion of the cow tail. So again, your feet are going in separate directions. Okay, so watch my feet if you're having trouble while I do the cow tail. You can see what the other foot is doing at the exact same time. See how my feet are always going in opposite directions. Okay, and let's try it one more time. Charleston, Charleston into a cow tail. So now I'm going to demo what it looks like to do the cow tail in one place. As you've seen, we just did it with the Charleston, which includes moving forward and then backwards and incorporating the cow tail. But cow tail can be a move entirely on its own. So this is what the cow tail looks like when you're in one place. So you're still doing the twisting footwork of the Charleston, but you're just staying in one spot. And that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Like I said, comment down below if you were able to get the move. Send me your progress videos on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye.